Design students. Today we're looking at standard form in exercises 6C and 6D. Something that we have done before, we've done it a little bit in maintenance, and I'm sure you've probably done a bit in science with Mrs. Prakasa. So uh, I just want to refresh your memory about the rules. Uh, the, the steps are that you want to find your first non-zero digit. So we'll do that now um, and with 2000. So the first non-zero digit is 2. My second step is I place this in the unit's place value and I write a decimal after that, so I'll do that now. Then I write all of the other digits until I come to the last non-zero -di digit. Well, there are no other uh, digits that are non-zero, so I can just straight away decide what multiple of 10, what power of 10 I'm gonna multiply by. Now I'm at 2000, so clearly I'm using this line here. I need to multiply by 10 to the power of three. A quick and easy check is to count the number of digits after your first one. There are three, so yes, it will be 10 to the power of three. Let's look at this next one. Rule one, find our first non-zero digit, six. Put this in the ones place and a decimal after it. Now, write all of the non-zero digits that are left, one, three. And then I'm going to times by. Now, I have 613,000, so I'm dealing with 100,000 here, so I'm looking at this line this time. So I'm gonna times by 10 to the power of five. I do my quick check. How many digits have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Correct, I'm fine. Let's do the next one. 7.09 uh, times 10 to the power of, this is 100, so we're looking at this one here, 10 to the power of two. We can do a quick check. Do I have two digits after the seven? Yes, perfect. Next one. Uh, I have 400, no, I've got 4 million and 30,000. 4 million, 30,000. So I'm gonna write four, then I put my decimal place, I go to my last non-zero digit, so 4.03. Then, since I'm in the millions place, I'm gonna be timesing by 10 to the power of six. I do a quick check. Three, four, five, six. Are there six digits after the four? Yes, there are, I'm correct. Now we move on to uh, decimal places. So we're going to be using, uh, or, or numbers that are less than one, we're gonna be using our negative powers. I've got uh, the same rules here, six, and there are no other non-zero -digit, digits, so it's in, like uh, it's in my units place, and I'm just gonna go six times 10, and to get 0.6, I need to be timesing by 0.1, so that's 10 to the negative one. Now the check for uh, negative powers, you need to count back from your decimal place, and it, you go to the first digit, right? So I've gone back one, and I've got minus one. Yes, correct. Let's try another one, uh, 0 0.0065. So I write six, then I put my decimal, my non, go to my last non-zero digit, which is a five. Now, what am I timesing by? 10. Okay, so I, let's count backwards. One, two, three. To get that six from the units to the uh, thousandths place, I've got to times by 10 to the negative three. Let's do another one. This one is going to be 1.05, and let's count one, two, three. I've moved back three places, so I'm again times by 10 to the negative three. Finally, we've got this nasty looking one. It's gonna be 2.3, and we've got to count back how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's times 10 to the power of nine. So use those shortcuts, but remember that the shortcuts that I'm teaching you refer to this here, and you wanna keep this in your mind as well. Okay, so now we're gonna work backwards. We're gonna change from standard form into uh, normal numerical form. Uh, three times 10 to the power of two, that's three times 100. So I'm gonna say, well, this is simply 300. Now you can always do a quick check on these ones by counting the number of digits after the three. Is it two? Yes, it's two. Yes, I'm correct. Let's move on to the next one. 7.92 times 10 to the power of five. I write seven, nine, two, zero, zero, zero. I check, do I have five here? One, two, three, four, five, yes, and I do here, so that's correct. 10 to the five is 
100,000 and 7 times 100,000 is 700,000. So 7.92 times 100,000 is 792,000. Next, 1.003 times 10 to the 4. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000, so this is going to be 10,000 something. And you can see it's going to be 10,030. You do a quick check. Do I have four numbers after my first uh, one here? Yes, I do. Yes, I'm correct. Let's work on the next one. 7.802 times 10 to the power of 3. So I write 7802. Do I have three numbers after my 7? Yes, I do. I'm correct. Now we're working with negative powers, so we're going to be in decimals this time. So I'm timesing by 0 0.1, so 7 times 0 0.1 is going to be 0 0.7, so this one will be 0 0.711. All you have to do to check with these ones is you go this number back from your decimal point for your first number. So, have we gone back 1 to get to our 7? Yes we have, we're correct. Okay, next one, 8.4 times 10 to the negative 4, so this should be 0 0.00. 084. Okay, let's check one. One, two, three, four. Yes, we're correct. Next one, 6.003 times 10 to the power of negative 8. So it's going to be 0 0.1020304050607. Then we've got our 6, and then we've got to add in these numbers after the decimal point 003, and that's that one sorted. Last one, 5.21 times 10 to the negative 3, we write 0, point, and then we've got 1, 0, 2, 0, and then our 5 appears on the third place from our decimal point, third place, so 1, 2, 3, correct, and then we've got to add in these other digits after it, so 2, 1, and we are done. I think that should set you up. Uh, for exercise 6C and 6D. It's something we've done before, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you. But good luck. If you do have trouble, make sure you get in touch with me. I'd love to help you out. All right, guys. God bless. See you next time.